Hey ho, I'm called Alaric, I'm at the University of Leeds uh, and I'm here to talk to you about how has English become the lingua franca. Um, and we'll discuss whether it has amongst other things. I guess I'll talk a bit to start with about kind of where I'm coming from with this, a bit about who I am, uh, why I'm interested in this question uh, and then we'll get into actually kind of getting some answers going about how has English become the lingua franca. Um, so here at Leeds I teach in the English department uh, or the School of English, as we call it. Um, but I actually work on medieval English, and in addition to that, medieval Icelandic, and indeed modern Icelandic. Um, and I spend a lot of my time trying to teach people um, effectively foreign languages. English a thousand years ago, Old English, um, is different enough from the English we speak now that it's effectively a foreign language. Uh, and Icelandic is self-evidently a foreign language. Um, and you might be kind of thinking, why would kind of an English department be kind of teaching this stuff that's basically not English, not English as we know it. And for me, the key thing about this is that um, to understand English, to understand any kind of linguistics, we actually have to understand um, other languages too. Uh, and I spend a lot of my time trying to get kind of English speakers up to speed with the idea of other languages and learning them. And the reason why I kind of was taken by this question is, is kind of a reason that you might find useful when you're thinking about exam questions and essay questions, which is basically I think it's a stupid question. There's something here that I can actually disagree with. Um, and it's always helpful if you see a question, there's something in it that you can disagree with because it helps you to kind of take an original, slightly you know, um, unexpected stance on it. Um, we quite often, at Leeds anyway, we quite often feed our students questions that we actually think are, um, are provocative, that have kind of ideas that might be wrong. Um, and that's what I'm going to take on with this. Because this question that some you know, idiot A-level examiner has sent me is how has English become the lingua franca, right? Um, but English is totally not the lingua franca. I better sort of check what, that you're all right with what a lingua franca is. I'll do a little bit of a spiel on this uh, and then I'll come round to actually some more straightforward stuff about English being a lingua franca.